All right, so yeah, this is what it looks like from a distance here with the lid open. Yeah, it does go pretty tall, especially the lid going up. You know, it is a pretty decent size printer. So if we lower this thing down, it's definitely a nice medium size. I do like this tint of red on the cap itself. Quite nice looking. Accent lines, beautiful design. Everything is metal. We've got a vent here, a little red accent. The screen is quite large, 4.3 inches. Little accents around it. Branding here, four large rubber squishy feet. And to the right side, it gets a little more interesting. We do have a fan here that vents out. And by the way, this is filtered, so it should help with the smells. We've got a USB port here to plug in the thumb drive. We can go ahead and do that. Beside that, we got the power on and off switch. So let's go ahead and turn it off. And as far as the sound goes, you guys can maybe hear or not, but it is mostly fan, obviously, and a little bit on the louder side. But understanding for this printer and the power that it needs, it does have quite a bit of cool. So looking at the back of the machine, on the bottom here, we can see this is where our port plugs in for the main power cord. The cord itself is pretty thick. Nice, solid connection there. The manufacturing label. Power rating of 210 watts. The product size, the weight, 19 kilograms. Operating voltage, 24. The typical 405 nanometer wavelength. And as we know, this is the Pixel L model. So above the label, we have the filter element. So you can replace it, looks like. There's a couple little bolts. So going up, we got pretty much just a clean back with a bunch of fingerprints that I just made. But yeah, you guys can see here the hinges for the lid. They're pretty heavy duty, all metal. So opening the lid is quite simple. There's a cutout here, and then there's a little flat spot on the cover itself that you just raise up, and it holds itself very nicely. It doesn't move. So these hinges are doing a great job. So let's start here from the top. We've got a little cover. It's metal. Our whole channel here on the Z-axis is also metal. You guys can see we have dual linear rails. Everything is super heavy duty. Our lead screw is actually a ball bearing type, and this is why it looks like that. So there's actually little ball bearings that roll up and down around. Got really nice linear rail bearings. So yeah, extremely heavy duty everything, guys. I mean, this is all metal and super high quality. So let's pull off the build platform. We're just gonna loosen these two bolts and it just slides out. But yeah, it's as simple as that and it just comes right out. And we can see a little better what the frame looks like. Nice and thick. So these are the three openings where our micrometers went in, where when we adjusted the plate, the four bolts that we loosen, two on each side to do that. So we saw the tub, and that's where the air filter is. And also on the other side, you guys can see this is our controller for the heated tub and the display. And those are the connectors there that it connects to. Then our notches here where the tub slides on. Then our screen with the screen protector on there still. All this base is completely metal. And you guys can see the mount here for the upper portion. Very heavy duty and everything is very high quality. So I got the printer laying on its back and I wanted to show you guys underneath. There is a small cover that comes off and you can see the main board. And this metal is quite thick, which is really nice. And you guys can see all the holes for cooling. But I also went ahead and took off the main plate off the bottom. And we just got one little bolt holding everything. And this thing is quite substantial and pretty heavy and the feet are mounted straight to the plate so yeah very high quality materials here so yeah you do have access through the small one with just four bolts to this main board we do have an arm processor you guys can see that and yeah very clean but what's probably most interesting is that it is a g2 board m20 basic what it says on there which i thought was quite interesting oh. Yeah, you guys can see very nicely engineered board and we got a USB cord that goes to the outer shell Our power connections here and things like that ribbon cables connecting to it We do have another circuit board here it looks like some kind of regulator and also some kind of distribution switch here of some sort Which is kind of interesting So all this stuff is mounted on another metal plate that also houses this very large fan and Behind that you guys can see is a very large aluminum heatsink so yeah, everything is very nicely built and again, very impressive. So overall, I'm really impressed with this thing and pretty excited to try it out here. 